All right, so it's going to get cold. Yes. Kind of wintry again. Yes. Yeah. And with wet or winter weather comes a constant cleaning around the house. I'm constantly doing our floors. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's my pet peeve. The dogs walking through the house. That is true. <gasps> All so right. So you have you have a, a decision. To make. Yes. You either take your shoes off yep. or track the outdoors <laughs> inside. Yeah, but the makers of the Clean Step mat say just one step on their super absorbent surface will clean muddy shoes and even paws. Consumer Reporter Steve Noviello puts it to the dealer dead test. Tired of your family tracking in a muddy mess? If the wet winter weather has left your floors feeling foul, introducing the Clean Step Mat. The makers of the Clean Step say their mat is a no wipe wonder. This is Dolly. Mark Doty has a new addition, thanks in part to winter weather. His dog Dolly was a stray he first came across last year during a string of freezing winter days. So the next day I went back to try to see if she was still out there and she was. Now Dolly brings love, affection, and well, we have had quite a few rainy days. Mud. Right now I just keep a towel by the front door. Nonsense, say the makers of the Clean Step. Their mat has something special. The secret is millions of super absorbent fibers remove mud and water from shoes instantly. Instantly? Okay. We brought Mark and Dolly here to Mutt's Canine Cantina, where there is plenty of space to play. Or we've got two dog parks here at Mutt's. And plenty of opportunity for us to muddy up some paws. So we set the stage, just like they do in the ad, with a plate of muddy water and a traditional doormat on one side and the clean step. <laughs> Wait a second, what's this? Important wash mat before first use. <laughs> While they make no mention in the ad or even on the box, the mat won't absorb until it's washed and dry. Something they don't show you in the commercial. They don't. I've got no. some laundry to do. You do. We yes. will be back. <laughs> Laundry's done, and wouldn't you know it, today it's raining outside, so we have to move things inside for the rest of our test. Now, even though we washed and dried on delicate and low, as per the instructions, take a look at the rubber backing. We've been left with a pocket full of pieces. <laughs> Nevertheless, the test continues. We duplicate precisely what we see in the app, a side-by-side -side comparison. Our traditional doormat, even after wiping, leaves a watery mess. But remember the clean step? You don't even need to wipe your feet. So we don't, but maybe we should. All right, what do you think here? I mean, there's definitely a difference. There's a difference. This one is a lot, obviously, is a lot better than this one is, but I mean, it's still, there still has some residue. And since I have wood floors, I always still be able to see that. In the ad, the results are spotless. Ours are not. So we try again, this time with Mark's dog, Dolly. Are you ready to make a mess? We wet her paws and let her step across the mat. She peppers the paper with paw prints. Not that great, actually. It looks pretty much like it did this morning after I took her in for a walk. It's called the Clean Step Mat. What do you think, deal or dud? Dud. <laughs> We reached out to the product maker for comment, but did not hear back. Now, while the mat was an improvement over a traditional material, it wasn't quite the clean step we saw advertised on TV. More from the manufacturer right now on our station website. You'll find a link, fox4news.com. I'm Steve Noviello. That's my two cents. Spend it wisely.